How to block shorts in 2025. Now, Firefox users are going, Titus, what you do with uBlock Origin and the scripts from last year still work. That's great. Chrome users, however, are kind of out in the dark right now. They have a uBlock Origin Lite, which yeah, it does all right job for blocking ads, but not great. And uh, it doesn't do a good job of blocking shorts anymore. Let's fix that. First off, Enhancer for YouTube. Over a million users. It gives a great experience. So my feed now looks like this. Your feed probably looks like three videos, shorts, three more videos, and then playables. All like you've already scrolled two or three times down your page. Not me. I'm rocking five videos like old school YouTube. I can scroll. And if I go to like a page to play a video, you'll notice I get a little bit of a different experience too right here. Switching to Google Chrome. Well, I got a whole width taken up. So this is actually a theater mode by default. And you'll notice I'm in HD right here. So right here, by default, it's 1080, 60 HD. Fantastic. Now, the defaults are normally small screen, 720p, and that's how most people have to live. I also have all these shortcut keys. So as I'm playing a video, support has been officially dropped. I can in Microsoft Edge click and this Google Chrome browser and incrementally have a lot of YouTube increase speed kind of it up. decrease speed like this or just go like it's the end of ad blocker give me normal so that's kind of uh the where i live and how i use youtube effectively and I, you can even block a lot of this so let's get into the actual settings of enhancer for youtube how i set it this way first off the prominent settings you're going to want to change automatically switch to playback quality now don't just crank this to the highest like 8k or 4k uh most people will just want 1080 just switching from 720 but if you want to probably 4k i wouldn't go much above that though most people don't upload videos past 4k so uh you'd have a lot of spooling time if you had that as default so leave that next up disabling autoplay i really like this when you're actually on here you'll notice as i'm reading comments I have this nice little pop-up player in the top left right here. So you can adjust the size of that mini player right here for scrolling down. So I could make this bigger if I wanted that to be bigger. And you'll notice it, it takes up a little more real estate, but I can still read comments. Very nice feature. Use that all the time. I also prevent any automatic loading. So if I'm in the middle and I want to type comments back or reply, I can do that right in there without having any issues. And then uh, you saw all these controls, just kind of go through and go, okay, this is good. What's this one? Okay, right click to watch with pop-up player. I'm probably not gonna use that. And then uh, I, you can kind of go through and s customize your shortcuts if you want. I also switched the deep dark theme. I like it, uh, it's like enhanced dark mode essentially. And then set the videos per row. Now you can set this to like four if this is too small on the home screen. Let's go back to YouTube home screen. Four will give you a little bit bigger thumbnails, depending on what you're like. If you're on your subscriptions feed, I personally like about five per. Uh, I can get through all, hey, what's going on with anybody I sub to, and I can quickly scan and get through my feed uh, and then off as I need. And then of course, hide shorts, and then that automatic full width is the theater mode so i enable that i don't like cinema mode because it puts this dark opacity around everything that's not the video so i never enable that i just use the theater mode as i just demonstrated that's all the settings go here download it enable it enjoy a better youtube until google screws up again breaks this and then you know probably i'll have to do another video about how to remove shorts when inevitably that happens so until that time enjoy